Hey guys, so I just came back from spending a weekend in Virginia for my friend's wedding. So I figured I would show you what I brought in my travel makeup bag. So it is pretty big, mostly because being, you know, typical girl that I am, I never know how I want to do my makeup until that day. So I brought a lot with me. So let's just get started. So we'll start with the palettes because they took up the most rooms. They were on the top. So I brought all three of my naked palettes. I'm far too indecisive. I can never decide on anything, so I had to bring all three of them. I brought the Naked Basics palette, and I brought my new favorite, the MAC Rocky Horror palette. I am so obsessed with these eyeshadows. I didn't end up wearing them at all because they didn't go with my dress that I had for the wedding, but they're, they're just so pretty. They're so pretty. I brought my YSL foundation, the Fusion Ink one, which has become my new favorite. I'm completely obsessed with this. My MAC setting powder. I had this back in high school. I loved it. Used it up. I was going to repurchase it, but I kept buying different pressed powders instead. And they came out with it in the Rocky Horror collections. So I figured why not repurchase it for the packaging. I do love Rocky Horror. It's pretty bad my obsession with Rocky Horror. I have my Benefit Hello Flawless Powder. I use this to set my under eye concealer. I have my Hoola Bronzer, which is the one that I use every day for contouring. I have lots and lots of brushes. There's even more still buried in the bottom of that bag. More brushes. Even more brushes. As you can tell, I think I have a problem with brushes. I mean, honestly, if I see brushes, I buy them. It's pretty bad. I have more brushes than anything else. My face and eye primers. They're both from Too Faced. I brought other foundations as well. I have my Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation and my Bare Minerals Bare Skin Foundation. I actually mix those together. I have my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. My MAC Mineralized Blush in Gentle, which has become my favorite blush for fall. I have my Mini Tarte Cheek Tint in Flush. And I have the Benefit Lolly Tint. I have my Maybelline Color Tattoo in Tough as Taupe, because that's what I like to use when I'm running late and I really don't have a lot of time to do my makeup. I have both the Lorac Liquid Liner and the Stila Liquid Liner. And I have the Benefit Their Real Push Up Liner. I have the MAC Eye Coal in Teddy, and I have the NARS Long Lasting Eyeliner, the larger than life one, in Via Veneto, which is my all-time favorite eyeliner. I have the L'Oreal Voluminous Miss Manga Mascara, the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, and Benefits They're Real. And can I say They're Real and Better Than Sex, like, just piled on top of each other? Oh my god, it's amazing. Like, that is my favorite mascara to do now. I'm obsessed with the two of them. I have my MAC eyeshadow in Brulee, which is my go-to highlight. I'm pretty sure you can tell how much I like it because I've kind of really hit pan on that. So, clearly I'm a little obsessed. I have my mini Makeup Forever HD powder. I have my Anastasia Brow Wiz and my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel because brow game is very important for a wedding. I have my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Under Eye Concealer because, let's be real, we were out until probably 1am the first day that we were there. We were in Virginia, which is about a 10 hour drive from where I am. So it was me, my boyfriend, all of our friends were there too. We were all staying in the same hotel. It was like I was dorming back in college again. We were up all night. It was kind of a hot mess. So it leaves us with the lip products, and honestly, I tend to overpack with lip products because I can never decide what I want to do. I have my EOS lip balm. I just have the sweet mint one that I brought with me. I have my MAC lip liner in Boldly Bare. I love to line my lips with this and then fill it in and then do a stain on top of it. It literally lasted three days, no matter how much I tried to take it off, so I pretty much had to do the same lip color the entire time I was there. Alright. So for lips, I had the MAC lipstick in Pure Zen, which is just a really nice nude color. I figured if I did a darker eye, I'd do this for the lip. It'd be perfect. I have Party Line, which is a darker berry color. Speak Louder, which is just a nice, bright, fun lip color. 
in Blankety, which is one of my all-time favorite nudes. I think it's just absolutely perfect. Then I had my Rimmel Kate Moss lipstick in number 17. I had my Bare Minerals lipstick in Speak Your Mind, which it always confuses me how to open it because it's got that little thing on it. You have to push it down to open the lipstick, and it's very confusing. I have my Benefit lipstick in Ladies Choice. I think there's an official name for this lipstick. I'm not sure. I got it as a gift. I don't know what the actual name for these lipsticks are, but... And then I had two YSL lipsticks. I brought a Rouge Volupt Shine in number 9, which is the ultimate Your Lips But Better color for me at least. It's coming out a whole lot darker on camera than it is in person. It's really sheer. It's so pretty. And then I had the Rouge Pure Couture YSL lipstick, which I just refer to as the square ones. And that's in number six. If you couldn't tell, I really like nude lips. And then I brought a few lip stains as well. I brought my OCC Lip Tar, which is one of my all-time favorites. It's one of the matte ones, and this one's in Memento. I brought my Too Faced Melted Liquid Lipstick. This one's in Melted Peony. Honestly, I used the lip liner, I used the OCC Lip Tar on top of it, and then I used this on top of that. It was gorgeous. And then I have my YSL Lip Stain in 103. It's this really pretty rose color, like I'm in love with this. It's more of a gloss than a stain, but it says it's a stain, so I'll go with whatever it says. And then I have two actual glosses with me. I have my Dior Addict in 576, which, oh my gosh, it's so pretty, and the wand for this lip gloss. Yes, it's expensive, but every now and then you need to splurge on yourself, and the wand is just perfect. It's a brush wand, it's tiny, so it's just the right size. It was worth the splurge. And I splurged when I got a raise at work, so I could justify it. And then I had my Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Gloss in Spark Plug. So yeah, that's all that I brought with me for makeup to Virginia. I brought a separate skincare bag, so I didn't just forget about all that. But as you can tell, the bag is now empty. If any of you were wondering, the travel bag is by Kenneth Cole Reaction. And I got it, I believe, at TJ Maxx. It could have been Burlington Coat Factory. It's one of those kinds of stores. I'm pretty sure that I got it for like 15, 20 bucks. It was a really good deal for a travel makeup bag this size. And it's the perfect size for me because I can shove everything in there and I don't need to make any decisions. And I hate making decisions. I'm always afraid I'll forget something. And I normally do. All right. So thank you for watching, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!